welcome. Uh, today we're doing um, another uh, some more uh, of the uh, world's uh, decks. Uh, where uh, I've got the I've got a deck based on Drew Baker's Bant deck from Worlds. Uh, I, now, once again, I've had to make a few changes based around uh, what cards I've got available. So. Uh, I think the two, uh, two drop slot is the same, and in the three drop slot, he's got. Uh, if I look at not collected cards here, I'll make it a bit easier. Yeah, he's got a couple of copies of uh, King Darian, uh, which it's kind of hard to duplicate what this guy does, but um, I thought I'll just try out some other things in the three drop slot so we have uh, Torrens, Fist of the Angels so this guy makes, whenever you cast a creature spell this guy makes a 1-1 one, one human soldier uh, with training uh, I'm going to try out Queen Alanal of Ruadak so she has power and toughness equal to the number of creatures you control and if you were to make a creature token you get an additional 1-1 one, one white soldier and uh, also I've got I thought I'll try one copy of exotic pets so it makes two one it's instant speed makes two one one blue fish creatures that cannot be blocked and uh, for each kind of counter among creatures you control I'm going to put a counter of that kind on either of these tokens and um, that could work out quite well we I mean, we've got plus one, plus one counters, of course, but we've also got shield counters from Broker's Ascendancy, and um, Elspeth can put it's got a variety of different counters on the creatures um, that, that bestow uh, abilities, so Flying First Strike, Life Link, or Vigilance. So I feel like this could be quite good. Um, let me just, ch I'll just look at his... Uh, deck again, let's see. So, yeah, he's got two King Darians and four wedding announcements. So, yeah, that's why I needed I needed three, uh, three, three cards to just sort of fill in. Uh, in the four drop slot, he's using four Wandering Emperors. So I've only got still only got one. So, I thought uh, I had a look at the four drop slot. I've got two cemetery protectors. I thought these are kind of on theme. They make they help you make more um, token creatures. Uh, it's also got flash as well, which is quite nice. Um, but it, it gives us you a bit of um, graveyard hate. You can exile a card from the graveyard. So I thought that's it's not yeah. Obviously, you're never going to find a card that matches Wandering Emperor, but that um, that does a few useful things for the deck. And for the other four drop slot, I thought we'll try uh, Falco Spara Pact Weaver. I did have um, Sarah Paragon in here, but this guy ha comes into play with a shield counter. So he's a little bit more uh, durable. And uh, I guess like Sarah Paragon, this, this guy gives you card advantage, but you can, rather than using the graveyard, you can play cards from the top of your library by removing a counter from a creature you control. So this is a deck that does make a lot of um, counters as well as token creatures, so we can uh, should be able to use his ability in most situations. Uh, I think the rest of the deck is about the same. In the land base, I think uh, I'm missing Ardekar Wastes, so I've replaced them with Skybridge Towers. And I'm missing a couple of Spiros Headquarters, so I've, I've chucked in a Thran Portal and an Uncharted Haven there. So pretty much matching the mana base just with a few more tap lands uh, in the sideboard he's using let's see uh, yeah he's got th two Denix, three anointed peacekeeper three park heights pegasus two protect and negotiators so um, I'm, I'm using a few more counter spells in there to Fill, fill any slots here that I'm missing. So I've got, I thought, three disdainful strokes looks good. A couple of negates probably makes sense as well. 
Uh, so we'll try this in best of three and we'll go into uh, ranked with it. We'll see if we can win any games. And yeah, the goal today, I'm just going to try and win four games. Uh, and we'll just see how we go. If we're, if we're just losing every single game, we might have to uh, try again with something else. Okay, this, uh, this looks decent enough. Okay, we are missing green mana. Which is not ideal, but uh, I don't really like to mulligan. When, especially when we've got two playable cards. Okay, there's that's uh, that's green mana there. So we want to play. Uh, I think particle wastes. Sleeper comes out. Feel like we get the wedding announcement cooking first of all. Okay, that's cut down. Uh, I think this means we can just attack with this guy. Pumped up to uh, three. That's good. It means he doesn't have a follow up uh, for me there. I'm going to play Sparrow's Headquarters. And I could just hold up mana for a Ganjo, or I could play the uh, Cathar. Although, let's think about this. He can, yeah, he can get this guy to 4 4. I think I'll just attack like that. I'll draw an extra card. I managed to draw the, the destroy evil if he maybe plays a Shieldred. Okay, he's gonna keep pumping this guy up, okay. Right, four four. So this should just kill him. Any luck, I don't think I'm missing anything. It's quite an investment of mana we made there, so uh, I think we're winning now. And what's the best thing to do? I could play AO. I think I like Adeline here. Build, helps me build up my army. I can keep up mana for destroy evil. On Adeline. Okay, 
get to six mana here. Um, okay, how about Torrens and Broker's Ascendancy? Uh, I think Adeline might win here. We'll try Adeline. Gives me an extra attacker. Did draw a lot of removal spells, but that's dropped him to five life. Interesting. Very reactive hand he had. Okay. Uh, I think I like Denik here. I want to try out Protect the Negotiators. I feel like this should be main deck, to be honest, but. Uh Maybe a disdainful stroke would be good. Interesting. This is the uh, this is what happens when you don't have the hand smoothing algorithm. You you, you start seeing the zero land hands. Okay, that is I mean it's it's pretty terrible, but um, we just hope he starts playing a bunch of shieldreds that we can blow up, and just destroy evil. Okay, let's keep six. Um, I guess I want these two lands. And I just really need double white, so I think I don't... I'm going to say I don't need the Articar Wastes. I think let's try and get away with three land. I don't really like throwing away these hands that have got perfect mana. But yeah, this would definitely be a candidate for um, a mulligan, but I'm just going to hope I top deck something relevant. Right, Thran Portal. 
Hmm. So I've got no answer to underdog here. We top deck something. Now, arguably, I'm supposed to play the throw and portal there, but my life total might be uh, uh, might be quite important in this one. Because uh, yeah, after after you got three land out, this becomes a tap land. I'm going to be, well, I guess, slightly greedy. I want to um, build these guys up with Broker's Ascendancy. I guess we're going to do a... Yeah, I'll play the Throne Portal now. It can be another source of white. And we'll do Broker's Ascendancy. Cut down. And he's got the invoke despair. Yeah. Just thinking. That's yeah. That's why I need counter spells for the invoke despairs. Okay, well, I mean, Cemetery Protector would be a good response here. But he's probably got instant speed removal, but, uh, you know, it's worth a try, I feel like. That's Exile and Instant, I think. Another Evoke Despair, sure. It'll draw the third Evoke Despair, I'm, I'm guessing. Right. Uh, Denik is quite good. Let's go with a wedding announcement. It's going to cost me a point of life. But... but this guy can be pumped up to 4 4 potentially. Oh, yeah, D uh, Danik doesn't help. Doesn't go with uh, Cemetery Protector, of course. Stops to stop, stops the Protector from actually um, targeting anything in the graveyard. Um, so we could chuck Denik in the way, and we gain some life points. Might be reasonable. The funny thing is, we haven't seen a single Shieldred, so <laughs> uh, destroy evil might be pointless. This gets me um, a 3 2 flutter, doesn't it? 
That's got menace. Um, if we get Turnic out, we've still got destroy evil mana. He might want to pump this up to four. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, let's go for join the dance. Then we can block everything. Although a good point is to check your time in your bet in the best of three. You have you have a half hour clock. And this is definitely somewhere where I could just save time and concede. It's not not really looking great for me at the moment. Let's play the underdog again, okay. Well, so that's three damage, that's potentially three damage. That can be pumped up to two damage. I think we want to stop the three damage here. I feel like just triple blocking the knight. And then potentially we take two damage here, but that's okay. That should take out Knight of Dusk Shadow, unless he's got instant removal. Okay. We take a point of damage, we take out the knight. So you can see how useless this, <laughs> how narrow this card is, destroy evil. I think we replace this with uh, more counter spells, to be honest. Okay. I got Dernick out. Okay, he's out of there. He can still pump this guy up to 3-3. Three, three. Um, okay, well, we'll block. And it sort of it vaguely plays into our hands if he's pumping this guy up. It means we can destroy evil next turn, probably. Oh, interesting. Right. Okay, let's turn the turn there. Uh, I guess we'd like to exile a tenacious underdog. Gains me two life as well, doesn't it? You are not much of a roadblock. Wonder if he knows I've got destroy evil and he's gonna play around it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a shield red, okay. So I'll transfer on that, okie doke. Back 
still wandering. Okay, let's join the dance. Uh, could play it again. No, I think I won't. Yeah, he's always got that. Oh, okay. Thought he was going to go for the underdog here. Yep, that might just do it. Fight for me now. Uh, I think he's not going to pump this guy up, so I'll double block. Okay, great. We're going to draw all of our destroy evils. I think we want to go down to maybe two or one and put in more counter spells. Such as. Uh, We can concede that one, because we've got no answer to his flyer. Okay. Uh, oh, I ex apparently I had 30, 61 cards in there. That wasn't very good. It can be very useful to destroy evil in the right circumstances. I, I don't want to see more than one copy of it anymore. <laughs> uh, it's probably an emotional decision, but... Um, I think Disdainful Stroke is what you play against Invoke Despair and Shieldred in the same deck. That seems that seems pretty good. Uh, do, what do we think about the rest here? Because okay, actually, Anointed Peacekeeper doesn't die to cut down, which is a um, that's something in his favour. Uh, do we like Denik? No, I think he just dies to cut down. Let's get rid of him. Let's get an anointed peacekeeper in there. Maybe another one. Uh, drop. Do we want the cemetery protector? Oh, we drop Torrens because he dies to cut down. Yeah, that's pretty simple. There we go. But yeah, we did have a very uh, reactive uh, opening hand. I you could you could call it. Okay, we actually we see some gala greeters. That's uh, that seems reasonable. We want double white for Adeline. I think we've got that available. So start with the headquarters. Uh, yeah, I can do. I think we can get away with that. Okay, night of dusk's shadow. Right. So, right, I've got a Thran portal decision here. Uh. I'm gonna I'm gonna say yes. Let's play through and pull, and we'll have blue mana. Get Adeline. And 
let's put a counter on the Gala Greeters and swing in so we get our... Uh, oh, our token just dies, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll get some damage in. Put the pressure on. And we can't gain life, so we'll gain a treasure token. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty good start. I knew there was another reason I wanted to get a token. That's getting the grasp. Okay, and that could get cut down now. Yeah, he's kept the cut downs in there. Okay. Nice. Um. Yeah, I think this this is this guy's annoying. Let's let's exile him. Judgment is final. The shield red okie doke. Right you are. Let's draw a card. Okay. Um Right, we'll play a tap land. Play our resolute reinforcements. We'll try and keep the protector f as a surprise later on. We'll put a plus one, plus one counter on uh, these ones. And we'll go next. We've still got the exotic pets as a surprise. If he wants to try and swing in and attack, maybe. Evoke despair. Okay. Um, you will lose a planeswalker, won't we? Okay, I think. Uh, yeah. We'll lose the one one. Oh, swing in. Okay. Right, exotic pets. We'll figure out how this works as well. I'm wondering if you get... Yeah, you just get one of the... Uh, one of each token, and we'll just block with everything. There we go. Success. Oh yeah. I always forget Shieldred's hidden ability. She has uh, Death Touch. So here we do nothing. I was thinking I was getting away to get with uh, keeping a token for a second. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll lose six then, and you get to, you get to draw three. Why not? <laughs> Sounds like fun to me. Okay. Cemetery protector and. Uh, we're going to play more creatures, so we'll take away Shieldred. Play Adeline. And make a creature, which is nice. I think it's the first time I've made a creature with Cemetery Protector. <laughs> um, with this deck, anyway. I think I'll hold the land and swing with Protector. Okay, that's good. That's going to get cut down. Okay, okay, sure. That's going to get soul transferred. It's, uh Very much a removal focused deck, this one. Soul transfer on that as well, yeah. <laughs> Little bit of removal. Uh, I'm going to play a deserted beach here and swing in for one damage. Okay, good. 
Couldn't be happier. Buster. Now, does he have uh, one more cut down? Oh, we can find out. Let's uh, let's peacekeep him. He's got seven mana. He's got infernal grasp. Okay. Uh, we could make Invoke Despair cost more. He's already got through two. Or we could just go for the uh, Grasp. Interesting, interesting. It doesn't, uh, doesn't do it that way. Right. Infernal Grasp. Sure. And... Um, Try and take down Sorum. Any luck? That should work. Sure. Okay. Um Double block like that. Just wants to draw another card. Fair enough. Yeah, so what I found in the had a few practice games with this deck, and it did. It just seems to run out of cards. Doesn't have much in the way of uh, card draw. Um. Okay. So it's. It plays a bit like an aggro deck you, where you want to overwhelm your opponent uh, in the first few turns, I think. So maybe you, you kind of need the perfect hand and you have to just mulligan for it. Okay, good game. So I'm dead there due to the trespasser. I 
I'll just play it out. It looks like, yeah, if I don't have counter magic up for the invoke despair, then I, I tend to lose here. So maybe just putting all the counter magic in the deck, becoming a bit of a control deck, is what you're supposed to do. Yeah, uh, and the mono black matchup, anyway. But we got one win. We're off the mark. I suppose probably no one in Worlds was playing Mono Black. Because maybe it's, in theory, not as good in best of three. There was the, of course, the deck, the winning deck did have four invoked despairs. It was um, red, black, and blue. Okay, no white mana, I notice. Um, I'd yeah, I think this is a wee bit risky. I mean, we've, we've got our counter spell we can play, but that's it. Okay, we can play this hand. It's a question of whether we want to try and ramp out to AO or put AO on the bottom of the deck because we could get an early AO, I reckon. No, I think I'll, yeah, you just put that on the bomb. Okie doke, uh, let's have some green mana there. We'll play the Thrampool for white, so we get get our double white. Okay. They're out of that. And they're out of there as well. A lot of removal, so I'm noticing so far in uh, Platinum Best of Three. Okay, let's get our wedding announcement going. We're a bit behind his one. in the graveyard. So he has another one in hand, yeah, makes sense. That flips, of course. Okay, I think, yeah, let's save time, let's get on to game two. Right, Esper. What do we do about Esper? That's another deck that's using a lot of removal. I don't think it's using cut down. I think it means we don't we don't use these two. Um, I think peacekeeper could be good. Yeah, maybe these two. These are kind of payoff creatures, where you you know you've got to play other stuff to make them pay off, and they're probably going to die before then. So, 
and I've got to decide how many how many counter spells do I want. Do I cut in to join the dance to put in more counter spells? Is the question. Though I am going first this round. Spell Pierce is going to be good. I think Negate will be good. Uh, yeah, okay. I think we, I was talking about putting lots of counter spells in, so let's uh, let's see how that does. Destroy Evil though is probably quite good against this deck because it kills Rafine and Wedding Announcement, but uh, maybe going down to two is fine. Right, well we got we got some counter spells. We only got two land. I think it's a bit bit risky, but we'll keep it. Take a risk, because uh, if we go down a bunch of cards, I'm not sure. Yeah, you know, I feel just don't feel like we have much chance of winning. Thank God for that. We, we draw a tap land. Okay, uh, we can negate that one. Uh, I guess I'll play my own one. Yep. I could play Cemetery Protectors, but Wedding Announcement seems better. Swing it. I mean, I could have... Uh, maybe I'm silly, because I could have held up Mana for Cemetery Protector. And then I would have had a counter spell for that guy. But, uh, yep. Okay, Shieldred, I guess we here sacrifice something as well I'll make disappear one of my make disappears okay so this is getting complicated gotta say um I think eventually I I counter shieldred. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah, we didn't hit the fifth land. Uh I'm gonna actually Swing in, may as well. Because we'll draw an extra card. Probably should have done that last turn as well, just to try and get that fifth land. There it is.
Tainted adversary, sure. I suppose. Uh, yeah, we'll play that one. Oh, you've got quite a lot of power to attack with. He's got four blockers. Okay, yeah, he does a lot of damage here. So I've got to take out AO. Uh, Tainted adversary is a bit of a pain, but we can trade trade off there. Favorable blocks here and here. Uh, can't really take all this damage, so I think we just have to. Trade off. Uh, we could take. Tell you what, we could take six damage and see what happens. Cause he's obviously losing these zombies. I think killing everything, so he doesn't get counted on AO, might be good. And we could have swapped these blocks around. Could have, these two could have taken out Tainted Adversary. That might have made more sense. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I could get... Tell you what, let's put lots of counters on my dudes. It's looking like I might win on the swing back here. Unless he gets something really good out, like a Shieldred. But it wouldn't be enough to kill me. Wandering Emperor, okay. Make a blocker. Yeah. Um, so. Can I help my attackers in any way? I don't think so. I think I just swing in. Like this. Okay. Okay, we got another win. Uh, second thoughts, maybe about destroy evil, but I don't know. Uh, maybe two is the right number. On the other, on the other hand. Uh, yeah, let's let's keep this configuration. I think. We have a make disappear. That's pretty good. Okay, 
let's uh, let's play the Avamaya Coast here. Well, let's be bold and play a um, Thran Portal for white. Actually, we need we need double white. There's a Rafine, so that's going away. And this is what they call the you know, the uh, you need, you need uh, two mana interaction when you're on the draw in best of three. So that's why people bring in uh, more make disappears. Uh, okay, well we could count the next one or we could play our own threat. Let's let's try let's try an add line. I'm sure this is a terrible idea. I suppose we've got AO the Dawn Sky in two turns time. Cut down, yeah, that's why that was a terrible terrible idea. You kind of want another creature before you play before you play Adley. I, I didn't think this deck was going to be playing cut down, to be honest. Okay, I think on balance we want to play the Gala Greeters here. We don't want to play AO the Dawn Sky into all that open mana. Wandering Emperor, okay. Um, let's negate the Wandering Emperor. Then we've got Destroy Evil for Ao the Dawn Sky if he plays that. There's Ao, okie doke. Well, uh,. We've got Destroy Evil into Wedding Announcement. I think that's that's all right. Might be able to protect AO if I don't kill it now. That's the thing. Did he whiff? That's unfortunate. I'm thinking tap treasure token here because I've got six mana and I want to play around. Make disappear. Oh, there's. He had a shield. Route. Okay. Fair enough. Um, okay. Right. Playing around make disappear. We'll see what happens. Interesting. Isn't that interesting? Uh, let's decline. Decline. Can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. He sacrificed Shieldred to make disappear. Oh, we drew a card, of course, because we attacked with two creatures. Broker's Ascendancy. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Do we want to play Exotic Pets as well? Or are we playing into a, a Board Sweeper? I think we might be playing into a Board Sweeper, to be honest. Danik, okay. Okay. We might have him on the ropes here, to be honest. Right. Exotic pets. Um, one of them's going to get a plus one, plus one counter. Let's make them bigger as well, and uh, let's make more treasure. Let's play. Elspeth Resplendent, and uh, let's, uh, yeah, that'll do it, that'll do it. Of 
Wasn't that interesting, though. Um, sac he sacrificed his Shieldred to make disappear, just to counter my um, Ao the Dawn Sky. But uh, to be fair, maybe he did have to do that. Uh, yeah, we're on three wins now, so I still need another win, let's see how we do. This looks fine. Okay, we've got too many tap lands. We can't do anything on turn two. But we're lucky. We top decked an untapped land. The Gala greeters. See if it. See if they survive. I'd, I'd be very. I'm very skeptical <laughs> of their chances. They're out of there. Oh, the flame blessed bolt. Yeah, people were using this um, to get rid of those tenacious underdogs. Of course. Right. I think. Uh, yeah, we just want to get wedding announcement cooking. We're not going to mess about with uh, Gala Greeters beforehand. Oh, of course, he is red-blue. He could have counterspelled that. I wasn't really thinking, but... Um, maybe that is the best course of action. Silver Scrutiny, okay. Very interesting. I'm trying to think if I've seen this deck before. I think it might be a, a homebrew. Okay, uh, now you've got to think 5 mana, he could have a sweeper next turn. So we could play into that a little bit. Gala Greeters join the dance. But we get, we get some benefit from doing that. Um, he could have a counter spell for Falco Spara as well. Actually, yeah, we do set ourselves up for an AO the Dawn Sky next turn if we get a treasure token. So I think I think this is the right thing to do. Okay, interesting. So, I guess he doesn't have a uh, a sweeper then that he's gonna he's building up to. And one thing I'm curious about. All oh, right, yeah, he has to remove a counter from a creature you control. I was thinking, wedding announcement has counters on it. Okay, we've got four mana. We've got uh, a couple of pretty good options. So we can either go Ascendancy or Falco Sparrow. Let's attack with everything first. So I sort of fancy doing playing uh, Falco. S Falco Spara. See if that gets counted.
I can see my top card, so I'm going to get a basic land this turn, which is quite good. Ah, big score. So this will be the uh, that big red enchantment, won't it? I don't know how it works with Silver Scrutiny, though. I have a feeling it doesn't work with X spells. Could also be uh, Leah, Disciple of the Drowned. That's my, that was my end step as well. So a lot of mana, seven mana. Could have Hullbreaker Horror as well. So he burned down the house. He did have a sweeper. Okay. Fair enough. Broker's Ascendancy would not have uh, protected them. Um, he's pretty... Well, he's got three mana left. He could have counter magic. Join the dance is quite good. Gets me back on the board with some creatures. Uh, Broker's Ascendancy would actually let me cast Destroy Evil off the top of the deck, which is quite interesting during his turn. Because I, um, I could get a plus one, plus one on Falco Spar. Um. I fancy joining the dance though here. I think it puts more pressure on the board. It puts four more power and toughness on the board. More and more targets for uh, to pick up brokers ascendancy tokens uh, or counters. I mean. Yeah, it's a Leer deck, so we're due for a burn down the house very soon. That's four mana he's got. Okay, so we start with uh, a Destroy Evil on Leer. Yeah, be suspicious of red-blue decks that don't have any counter spells, because they're probably a Leer Disciple of the Drowned deck. Okay, yeah, he's got a Braid as well for Falco Spara. So you can just uh, make the most of his value whilst... Uh, whilst Leer is still alive. Oh, right, has a fading, fading hope. Nice, okay. Uh, let's make sure that doesn't happen. Okay. Uh, I'll play that as a land. I'll swing in for four. So not many options are left. AO might close this out a bit quicker. But bro Brokers as I'm seeing reinforcements might be good. Uh, Okay, 
Flame plus bolt model. Sure. Consider. I think I'm going to go with Broker's Ascendancy. Play Resolute Reinforcements at the end of his turn. Just see if that, that's enough to win. Because he'll have to burn through some uh, removal to uh, survive. Okay, yeah, make disappear. He does have counter spells in the main deck. Good to know. Right. Did he draw two counter spells though? Now I could wait and be really careful and play around another make disappear, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to play AO. Chances of him drawing two counter spells seem quite low, but he might do. Okay, and I think I want to just uh, cycle the Sparrow's Headquarters. Well, that's, yeah, it's important to get the Ascendancy down. It's because it puts AO on six toughness if he does, does get another burn down the house. He can survive that now. Okay, yep, good game. Right, so I've established Destroy Evil is pretty good here. Because it, yeah, basically all based around Leah. I don't know, I mean, I don't know how, if it's that good. Um, I think Disdainful Stroke could be very good as well. Uh, maybe drop a couple of those and... Chuck in a couple of negates, protect the negotiators might be good. So again, we're going for loads of counter spells. I think target spells or abilities. Hmm. I don't think it shuts down uh, Leah. But I think it's this is a good value card. Uh, nonetheless, I'll pop Denik in. Yeah.
Okay, we have double white. We cannot cast any of our spells, so that's a mulligan. We have one land, that's a mulligan. Okay, we have to keep this one. Um, Elspeth on the bottom, maybe. Or maybe... Sh uh, yep. We will just try and top deck some good things, I think. First, uh, nope, nope, let's not do anything. Let's we'll go for the exotic pets. Jaya, okay, nice. I remember my first fight. Good thing it wasn't against me. You're no match for my students. May as well play this Haven. Uh, let's, let's go for a bit of bit of white. And let's go for Jaya. Nice thing about the fish, they're unblockable. I fry twerps like you for breakfast. the heat of the moment. So she's down to two loyalty. Found a voltage search, yeah, that'll do it. Everything they know. Okay, just time for stroke. Uh. Oh, I think we've got Jaya. That's pretty good. Now you can tell everyone you beat the Jaya Ballad. And I can draw a 
guard off the Skybridge Towers, so that'll help a little bit, but we're um, a little bit behind. Okay, it's another land. Oh, uh, no, don't think we can't spell that. I don't want to lose a creature just to can't spell a memory deluge. Might counterspell the uh, flashback version, of course. Okay, another Jaya. Right, well, that's worth countering. That was a lot of hassle to deal with the first time around. Please. That's a good top deck. Fair enough. Okay. Just thinking about count, uh, yeah, power sync type counter spells. I think I don't have to play the land here. I would guess. Okay. Fair enough. I think we're going to need a little more life points here. I think that's good game. He's going to have another think. Uh, let's see, I'm on 21 minutes. So let's concede that one and get on to game three. Yeah, that, so that was a mulligan down to five. So it's not ideal. Um, Yeah, he's playing things that can't be countered actually. Maybe I've made a uh, 
critical error here. So, yeah, take out the scout spells, I think. Let's get some more value cards, I think, as well. The counter spells were pretty good. Um... I don't know about that. Not sure what I'm doing, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, right. First, we're going a bit more aggressive, I think, is the answer. Uh, but with a bit more, a few card draw options. Okay, we need to go white and blue, so we yeah, keep this. Uh, let's start with a farmland. We'll start with the greeters and see if, you know, he's got a flame blessed bolt. Uh, we could go Sparrow's Headquarters here. Yeah, I think so. Play the Danek. Do we want treasure? Yep, he didn't make it into play quick enough. That's a shame. Then it kind of stops my cemetery protector from working. That's a little slightly annoying uh, interaction. I kind of want to play my exotic pets instead of the uh, protector. I hope he blows up Danek, to be honest. That's a gyre, right. A thousand years and they never learn not to mess with me. You're no match for my students. Okay. Go with the exotic pets. Like you for breakfast. Okay, 
Right, I think we'll make fires of victory cost more. Experience will do you good. Oh, nice, yeah, that makes sense. And he gets exiled as well. You're lucky I'm nice enough to just leave. Okay, we'll go for Cemetery Protector. Now that Dernick's dead, we might have a counter spell. He just drew a couple of cards, I think. I think uh, we pop the Abrade here. Got a couple of instants to use, so that seems to make sense. Um, how risky a Galagri is. He's got to get another land and a. Um, well, he's got. I can see he's got four cards in his hand that I haven't seen. So yeah, he's drawn a few cards. I'm. I'm about to do eight damage. Uh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna play the Gala Greeters. So needs a sweeper next turn. Or I'm doing lethal, pretty much. Right, okay, that suggests to me he does have the sweeper. Just needs the fifth treasure. The fifth pot of mana to cast it. Okay, 
Yeah. Yep. I should not have cast the Guard Rooter. I should have known he de definitely had the removal, the um, sweeper. But there you go. So he's getting that back with Leo next turn, I'm guessing. Sure, okay. Okay, we want to play that. Okay, let's play Brooks Ascendancy. I'll break a horror, okay. I think I can actually kill that, I think. Won't be able to do anything in response, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's a good top deck. Got fires of victory, mind you. Quite a few card draw options in this deck, I guess. As long as he can get his, he can draw his, burn down the house, he's going to be good, I think. Hmm, Elspeth, okay. Well, this will probably get countered, but um, I'm going to go for it. Deluge to look for a counter spell, I guess. I won't let a few thugs threaten us. May your peace last. Okay, um, Adeline or wedding announcements. Adeline will be able to block a. Uh, Bankbuster. Wedding announcement will give me value later. Go for the Adelie. Oh, nine minutes on them. Like nine minutes on his match timer. Okay. Oh, for a change, I'm actually uh, ahead on time. I guess my deck's a bit simpler. See if he's got something that can knock down the shield, I suppose. But yeah, he's got six cards, so he's... Uh, he probably does. 
fact he's got fires of victory to knock the shield off and draw a card. Okay. Other fires of victory to finish her off, I guess. Yeah. Three fires of victory, nice. Nice when every other card in the deck draws cards, gotta say. Retreat isn't a reason to lose hope. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in the sideboard that takes care of bank busters uh, in this deck. Oh, I guess, yeah, he's got the um, the destroy evil is supposed to do everything, I guess. That's fair enough. But only after, I guess only after it's uh, turned into a vehicle. thinking we're supposed to wait till end of turn to use destroy evil because he does if he does play Lear disciple of the drowned we want to blow that up okay Uh, four four flyer. Uh, it's a bit harder for me to deal with. I guess we should blow that up. We can always. Well, I don't know if we can kill the pilot, but um, welcoming vampire. So actually you play this the other way around then. Welcoming a vampire, then Gala Greeters. Let's draw a card. If be surprised if the vampire survives here, but yeah. Never mind. Nice idea. Yeah, I can't imagine he survives. <laughs> no. Actually, running low on cards. Three left. He's got a uh, deluge left, so that's uh, two more cards. I'll just draw some land. It's the problem with uh, Ascendancy, so... It doesn't deal with any of his threats, and it doesn't make any creatures, doesn't make any of my own threats, just makes my own... It's a Threat Enhancer, and this is like... Uh, this is such a uh, grindy deck. I don't think you can play Ascendancy against it. I think this is the proof. Because the only thing that's good about this is it can grow a creature beyond the range of his removal. 
that all of his removal is instant, pretty much. Apart from burn down the house. Frankly, destruction is best left to the professionals. Go on, impress me. Okay, yeah. It's land time. I did pretty well. I had a good run. I can't complain. I had two cards in a row. Yeah, good game. So he, did, he is playing multiple Hullbreaker Horrors in this deck. The World Championship deck, I think, only had one Hullbreaker Horror. And yeah, wasn't running Jaya, actually, now that I think of it. That's 9 damage, but you can cast a spell. Okay. Play another Broker's Ascendancy. See, it's <laughs> just to emphasize uh, how bad that card is in the matchup. The whole not a creature, not a removal spell thing. It doesn't draw any cards. But it's definitely really good in some matchups, just not this one, I think. Still, that was quite an interesting uh, run out for the Band Tokens deck. And it just it it just runs out of steam after a while. Uh, I think you need a good opening hand. Maybe I'm supposed to mulligan a bit more often. Till I actually get something uh something good. But I do like the uh, all the cards that give you let you draw. So Park Heights Pegasus lets you draw. And welcoming a vampire. Maybe the answer is just having more of these cards. I like to play, I think, a couple of Falco Sparrows in this deck as well. That'd be quite interesting. Because it goes well, not, it's not just with Rogue's Ascendancy, it goes well with uh, Garg Greeters, maybe Exotic Pets as well, and the Torrens. Uh, yeah, actually, let's go through the deck here. So. So this was based on, uh, yeah, Drew Baker's uh, Bant Tokens deck. And he's running four main deck Destroy Evils, which is an interesting choice. But I think if you identify the main threats as Shieldred, Fable of the Mirror Break, uh, Wedding Announcement, this can kill all of those. So maybe, uh, maybe it's a good choice. I did, certainly there's a few games where it feels a bit, bit weak. Um, suddenly it f I feel like all the 3-3 three, three creatures are pretty dangerous um, Graveyard Trespasses and the like um, become a bit of a problem but interesting idea it's, I think it's just I guess it's an idea to give you a bit of a leg up against uh, the meta decks Uh, yeah, so that's that's the curve there, 18 two drops. So it's I suppose it's designed to have a pretty consistent uh, aggressive rollout early on. Gala greeters join the dance, um, following up with Adeline. So the um, 
Maybe what makes all the difference is the new Dominaria, dude. If I switch on, not collected. Uh, so King Darian, not only is he pumping all the creatures, I think the important bit here, you can sacrifice him to give everything, all the creature tokens. Okay, just the creature tokens. Hexproof and indestructible. So, it gives you some protection against um, sweepers, which is what you need. So that's not having the two copies of this guy. I think uh, def definitely we, we missed that. Uh, I was considering Mage's Attendant, which is um, three drop. I think an uncommon or possibly a common. Mage's Attendant. So it gives you a, uh, a wizard token creature who can counter a non creature spell unless they pay one mana. So a one point power sink basically. Uh, that can I find that can catch people out. So that's one version of the deck. I, I was running Mage's Attendant in these, these sort of extra three drop slots here. So maybe it's a bit greedy playing things like Queen Alanar, so she doesn't really uh, do anything unless you play another card afterwards. She's actually got to survive, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it's a pretty removal heavy environment. So I think cards like Queen Alanar don't do enough when they come into play. Um, uh, I think I'm a fan of the exotic pets. I thought these work quite well. Anything that's that's uh, instant speed as well is quite nice. Uh, Torrens. We didn't really see Torrens do anything. But he's got the same problem as Queen Alanal, I guess. Uh, probably three Brokers Ascendancy is maybe the right number, and you just drop these against decks with lots of removal. I thought the Cemetery Protector did quite well, but we just, I've just got to, you just got to remember it's a non-bow with Denik, because uh, Denik will stop you targeting the Graveyard. So I, think, I guess if you bring Denik in, you drop the Cemetery Protectors. Um, yeah. I guess only having one Wandering Emperor is kind of a problem. But, uh, so we're, we're a bit, so we're short on King, uh, what's his face? <laughs> uh... Yeah, he's a rare. King Darian. To protect my token creatures. And we're short on removal in the form of Wandering Emperor. So maybe that's... Maybe this particular deck we're missing a little bit too much to make an effective deck. It'll be interesting to see what the 4 Wandering Emperor version looks like. Because uh, it does a bit more than Cemetery Protector, I suppose. Uh, I feel like Falco Sparta ought to be pretty good. We didn't get a chance to play any cards off the top of my deck, but it uh, seems interesting. Ao is pretty good in this deck, uh, so is Elspeth, I would say. And um, Mana Base seemed all right. There was a few a few games where we had two tap lands, and we couldn't play. A two drop on turn two, uh, but if we get if I get around to getting f four article wastes, that's going to improve the situation there. Um, yeah, the only other thing with the four Sparrows headquarters as well, so that would give you more more lands to potentially cycle. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, I think that is a video, so, uh, thanks for watching.